online. That water bottle is what I was talking about. So I'm not really sure what you're referring to. I didn't talk about online. Nope. Okay. So it's not letting me share my screen. There we go. Everything's just running super slow today. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Okay. Yes, Miss Cerny. Um, we're going to get some new reading stuff materials today, and I'm going to have some people practice their fluency with me. So um, everything should be already here if you need it. All right. So let me get in present mode. So we have some new words today. We're going to get through our sounds first. Then we're going to do some words, and you're going to tell me whether you think it's a real word or not. And it's still loading. Here we go. Uh, Don't forget the F sound. B. Uh, remember, we're super quick. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me hear this one again. saying E. Just one. One sound. Two letters. U. So you, what is that? What sound does that make? U. U. Very good. A. Oh, I didn't trick you. Nice job. All right. Oh, hold on. I got to get rid of some things out of the way here. Hold on. Okay. Ah. Toss. Real word? Not a real word. Real word? Not a real word. Real word? All right. Most of us say no, it is not a real word. Yes, Mr. Finn? S-H-R is shr. Shr. It's r. With that r at the end? It's not sure. It's not er sound. R. It's supposed to be that arf, that remember that Scooby Doo sound, ra. So sh, sh, the sh sound with a ra. Oh, mm, no, right when he talks, he goes ra. He's got that r sound. Okay, so let's go with this one. Bl, e, m, limp. Is that a oh? So we gotta go backwards. Is that a real word? Is that blimp? Yes or no? What do you think? Real word? Real word. Does anybody know what a blimp is? So a blimp is a real thing. So, but what is it? Lennox, do you know what a blimp is? It is a floating thing. Yes, it floats. It does. August? Um, doesn't look super round and super light. Okay, they are very light. They're filled with, usually with a gas that makes them buoyant right and, and rise Cernay, do you know what a blimp is it looks like it, like a sort of a submarine shape i like that description sort of oblong right and it floats in the air very good they used to have um 
It, it turned out that it wasn't a very, um, it wasn't a good idea because the gas that they were filling out it just happened to, uh, that, that would help it rise. This also happened to be flammable. So when you're trying to make the gas work that it, it, you know, it explodes easily. So they decided it wasn't a very good transportation item. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so sometimes they have smaller blimps that they do uh, the when the ex, like an exposition of some sort kind of thing, but it's not a really good transportation situation. All right, here we go. Swap F O swell. Real word, not a real word. Swell. Mr. Gabe, what does swell mean? No, that would be well without the S would be a whole. You're right. Um, what do you think, Ben? What's swell mean? You're super swell. Yeah, but they're not telling me exactly what it means. After you want to help him out, what does swell mean? Swell means when something's going good. Good. So yeah. So you're if you're feeling swell, then you'd be feeling good. It's just another word for good. Okay. Here we go. Pre eh. Print. print. Real word, Emma? So you print your, you that the, uh, when we're not doing cursive, we print, or you might print a piece of paper, right? Okay, look, we're going to keep going. Well, we've got to keep going because we get, this is our three part drill. And we have to get to part of the first part. Here we go. Draw, ink, drink. Real word? Yeah. Thumb up, thumb down. Come on, friends at home. Tell me, drink. Is that a real word? Real word. Okay. Fr eh, z, frizz. I, I sound like I, like I feel like I'm the only one sounding out sounds. It's all of you guys need to be doing it. Frizz. Is frizz a real thing? Thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't think it is. Frizz. Yes, it is a real word. Lennox, what does frizz mean? Frizzy hair, okay. So frizz means to be all like zigzaggy, right? Frizz. No. All right, here we go. Next one. Oh, what's that sound? Fast. Fast. Real word? Not a real word. What do you think? Yes or no? Mm, it's, well, come on, fast. So it's usually part of another word though, right? Festival. Sometimes they do stick it at the end of some sort of an um, other thing when they're trying to make it like a short festival thing. Oh, at latch. Real word? Yeah. Well, I guess what does latch mean? Latch means like there's a latch on a briefcase. Okay, something that holds something together, right? Very good. All right, next thing. Crush. Uh, crush. Crush. Real word? Yeah. Not a real word? I just think my friends at home might be sleeping. Come on, crush. Real word? Not real word. Everybody here, are you all sleeping? Real word? I'm sleeping. I, I'm the one that went to bed too late. Come on, guys. Real word? Not a real word. Lila or bird, what is crush? Uh, yeah, we don't do that in third grade though, right? When you like somebody, that's true, but we don't do that in third grade. Sonny? Okay, when you smush it, right? When you make it smaller than it started. Uh, yes, sir. Another, another, another crush? There is a soda, right? An orange soda, right? All right, here's the next one. Pull, e, flee. Real word? Not a real word. Now, we talked about this one last week with our lovely um, vowel team. Does anybody remember what it means? This kind of flea, I'll give you a hint. It's not the little one that your animals might have. August, what is flea? This flea. When you run away. Very good. Here we go. Sp. Uh, what sound is this one? Ire. Spire. Real or not? What do you think? Real? Charlie Van Rickley, do you know what a spire is? No, I don't know what a spire is. But you know it's a real word? It is a real word. You're right. Spire. Mm, it's 
So it's part of several other words, right? But it's not. What do you think, Lennox? Lennox? a good try. Ben, can you help him out? So like we said, it sounds like it's part of another word, but Mr. A, any idea? Spire. I'll give you a hint. Top, top of a very tall building, you might have some of these on a castle or on a Gothic cathedral. You might have some of these. Ben, what do you think? Like a what? Like it, it, you, aspire is a long, thin um, part, parts that, so you have it a lot on a lot of, here, let's see if we can find aspire. I think that was my last, yep, I knew that was my last word. Let's see if we can find a picture of aspire. So we have that idea when we, let's see. Well, I just want, oh, of course they give me a different kind of, oh, let's see if I can find out. Ah, of course there's different sort of there we go so see how tall and pointy spire um there we go Oops. my friends see that part here that's our spire tall pointy part on a building there all right there's your okay go ahead and take out your sand tray um if you are darker colors for you guys and if you you know I ended up getting to some people who need a little bit more sand oh you'd like some more is what you're telling me okay just let me know then all right so here we go split go ahead and split your sand the sound is I I I very good. I says I, I consonant E. Very good. Go ahead and all uh, right. Very good. C H. All right. Split your sand. Duh. Okay, so the only one that I'm only really here on myself and Miss Spurred. So I need everybody to say D says D. E D says D. Very good. I need everybody helping me out. It's a multiple, you know, why? Because it's a multiple, you're with your brain, you're multiply, you're doing it, you're seeing it with your eyes, you're feeling it with your finger, and you're also saying it out loud. So that's three ways for your brain to get it inside there, okay? All right, 
Now, so this one, you're going to split your screen. We haven't done this one before, but let's see if you can figure it out. Oh, sorry. You're seeing it. S-C says sk. S-K says sk. We have two different ones. S-C and S-K both say sk. Like we said, we haven't done that. What? S-C-K. So we C-K goes at the end. C-K never goes in the beginning. Yeah. So that's. And it comes after a short vowel. And it comes after a short vowel. Good job. Yes, one goes after that short vowel. All right, here we go. Ang. A N G says ang. Very good. Qua. Very good. Remember where where does your line go? Make sure it's right there, underneath your the ball of the Q there. All right, split it up. Zzz. Very good. Z and ZZ. Nice job. All right. Okay, are you ready? Four sections. So down the middle and across. Four of them. Woo. Are you ready? E. E says E, E consonant, E says E, E, A, E, E. Wowzer, look at all the ways that we have learned how to spell the E sounds, four of them. E, E consonant, E, E, A, and E, E. We added from last week, very nice. All right. P says P. Old. Mm, old. Old. Is that going to happen at the beginning of a word? Old. Is that going to happen at the beginning of a word? So, so we do that to show that it's going to be the end of a word, right? Like sold or cold, right? Ah, like what? Mm, wood. Oh, because we don't sound, but we don't hear the L in that one, do we? No. All right. Uh, last one. Split it down the middle. What? Very good. What? W W H. Very good. All right. Go ahead and put that to your to the side. Take out your vowel tense for me. Vowel tense. Vowel tense. Yeah. Tense. Vowel tense. Vowel tense. Vowel tense. So, can you go ahead and um, go ahead? Look at Mrs. Harrison's desk. 
Even has Sam on it herself. Okay. I'll try to give everybody a little bit extra. Hopefully, I'll remember before next time. All right, Mr. Sorry, no, I'll take that for me. All right. Thank you. All right. Does everybody have their bell pens? No. Yes, no. All right. Yours are supposed to be standing up. Mine are just down because that's the way you can see them better. But yours can go ahead and be standing. I don't have my green folder. Okay, where would, would it be? Uh, just give me, I just opened my one. Okay, also, my uh, bag has a hole in it. Your zip box? Yeah. All right, I'll try to change that out as well. You guys are keeping me busy with what you're doing. All right, okay, everybody got their sounds ready? All right. Well, that's good because I wasn't quite ready either. All right, here we go. Mr. Mr. Max, you got to have them ready. You got to stick them up. There you go. So you're missing your A, huh? All right. Well, we'll um, just make an A for me when you need it. And we'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. He needs No, no, Max, it's okay. You keep yours. All right. Oh, that works fine, too, as long as you're holding it up for me. All right. You found it. Awesome, I don't know how everything that I leave here keeps getting moved over there. I don't know because I'm not taking it, so I'm not sure. Here, got some magic stuff. All right, thank you guys for holding, um, being patient. Here we go. All right, Zeg. All right, have your E. Very good. Rom. Very good. Our pink one. Here we go. Dot. All right. Ot. All right. I'm trying not to give it away. I have a tendency to go for the letter before I say the, the, all the whole word. Ag. Very right, good. A ah ah. Are you have? Are you okay, Miss Astria? You look stressed. I uh lost mine. Okay, so you're just, we'll just work on them for maybe we'll get some to, you can get some uh, just paper and make some other ones for next time. That's fine. Just make me a little shape, whatever you can, you know, like this for O or E, you can do this for E. No, we have, we're, we're quite into it. Ib. I, very good. There you go. I like that. See, that worked, Astria. That works. All right. Um, hob. All right, here we go. Sup. New says, ah, very good. F. E. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. I see you. All right. Um, lat. He says, ah. Uh, ought. All right, very good. M. Very good. Zan. Mr. Max. Ah, ah. All right, um, Hib. Okay, so nobody should be falling out of their desks to do this. Uh, eh. So, uh, show me. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Out of control is not helpful. Then I can't do this activity anymore for getting out of control. All right. Un. Ah, uh, un. Ah, very good. So the last one was a U the whole time. It wasn't a no. Uh, so that's that's what we noticed is that when Mrs. Harrison is taking, but this way. So Mrs. Harrison is um, doing some of those words on the spelling test. We're still mixing up some of the U's and the O's and the U's and the A's. All right, med. He says, uh, I'm looking for per I'm looking for blues. You guys put it down so fast that sometimes I don't get it. All right, thank you, my friend. Okay, now I'm gonna point. You're gonna say the sound. Okay, you're not picking anything up, it's just me. All right. 
So I want to hear you say the sound. Here we go. Ah. Okay, you guys, you have to make the sound that I'm pointing at. You guys are guessing at which oh, one I'm going to go. Laggy and it looks like you go from laggy. Uh, that's okay. Just say it when my when my finger gets there. Just wait until I get there. It's okay. I know there is a lag. Okay. Today, Mrs. Harrison realized she forgot to pull her card. So, she made her own. so um, our card today, obviously not my best. I drew on myself and set it on the card. So, um, our bell team today is A Y. So, what many of you may have may have noticed in the few in the past is that we usually say Y makes the what sound. What is what we when I put up Y on our on our drill? What what sound do we make? Yeah, but in a vowel team now the Y is been, being used as a vowel instead of a consonant, and especially in this vowel team, it makes no sound at all. Yes, August. Yes, it makes no sound at all. It just makes this. It's a vowel team, so in a vowel team, we know that the first letter always makes its own name, right? So a y is going to be the sound of just plain old a. And I have a book for it today. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Right? Day being our a y word. We're going to read a few of the pages, and we'll see if we can find any a more a y's though. Yes. Yes, Max. Ah, oh, that's his full name. Oh, so he was having a no good, very bad, horrible day, huh? Uh, well, we have to get through our work first, and then we can have that conversation. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So our, did we see any other A word, A Y words in there? No. Just A. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the car, in the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Do a couple more pages. I can't do the whole book though, unfortunately. At school, Mrs. Dickens, Miss Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Let we'll that sink in for a minute. Why did the teacher not like the picture last of the invisible castle? Because it's invisible, right? Yeah. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his 
third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream cart falls, part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Did he flip his lid? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Instead of using his eye message, he flipped his lid. He should have taken a moment to stop before he passed, huh? Mmm. There was there were two cup, cup, cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Do we always just do we all have those occasionally? Yes, we do. We definitely all do. All right. So our AY for today, we're going to do some um, looking at what we, um, some words that we can make. Oh, and I have it on a, I did something different today. Let me pull it out for you. Move my spire away here. Um, close this one. Uh-oh, here it is. Oh, actually, I hope it's here. Nope, not there. Magic square, there it is. Just a little, trying to locate it, sorry. All right, so here's our magic square. We have P-R-T-L-A-Y-S-C-D and M. All right, so what are some words? I'm gonna pull out my, okay, where did my piece of paper go that I had? Okay, let me use the back of the one I used for Yelp. All right, so who sees some words? I'm going to have to flip back and forth. I just realized that was the problem with putting it on uh, vir virtual today. All right, Miss Astria, what do you see? May. May. How would I spell that? M A Y. N May. M A Y. Very nice. Mr. Charlie Van Rickley, what do you see? I don't really see any wads. Any A, well, yeah, you, so there's, we can do sideways, we can do diagonal, we can say. up and down. I say think I down. say, I say. Say, very good. <laughs> I say, say, very good. All right, what other words do we see? Oh, I've got a lot of them. I'm gonna have to move. All right, uh, I hold it, hold it. If you already had a word in your head, that's the one we're gonna share. And then I'll go back. Miss Sunny. Play. Oh, L A Y. Lay. Very good. Where did it go away? There we go. All right, Charlie. Car. Lays. So adding an S to the end, right? can add lay, lay, bird, plays, very good, surname, you want me to put it side by side, oh, Ah, I don't know if there's room there, but you're right, it could. Do a Miss Aubin, huh? All right, do you have a word that you wanted to share with me? Day. All right, oh, there we go. I got it figured out. Thank you for stalling for me a little bit while I was figuring it out. Um, Gabe, spell it for me. Very good. Mr. Sawyer. Right? Hey, very good. P A Y. Miss Evie. Oh, it's a Y Yep, but we have we're looking for A Y words today. That that's the focus. August. Yay. Mm, how would you spell that? No, he said yay because he got sick. No, I think he was telling me that was his word. 
But uh, what, how would I spell that though? Are the letters up there to spell that? But we don't have a Y by itself, do we? No. no. So is that likely to be one of those words? No. Nope. Nope. Can you see another one for me though? No. Nope. Oh, sure you can. Look again. Lay. Lay, Lay with an L? Uh -huh. Yeah. It was very, very good. I don't know why this is the, why my that camera is so dark these days. I have no, I'm going to fix that. I'm not quite sure why. Lennox? Yeah. Oh, that's one at, one at a time. Stay. Okay. Case. So we have K C A S E. So if we were going to do case, so it's one of our, another way to make that long A, but we don't have all those letters. Max? Tray. Tray. How would I spell that? Very nice. Tray. Uh, is there a Sawyer? Slay. Slay. How would I spell that? S-L-A-Y. Okay. Now, we aren't supposed to jump over letters, though, are we? I'll give you that one, but it technically, we're not supposed to jump over. Remember, we have to be diagonal or up and down or side to side. Mr. Finn. Trade. Well, you want to have an, so that kind of trade would be this trade. It would be our magic E word. Oh, we can't see because of the people. My fun people are in the way. There we go. Astria, what's another one? Stray. Can you spell it for me? S T R A Y. Stray. Very nice. Excellent. Bird. Maze would be an M-A-Z-E. That'd be it. We need a Z and we need a, a, a magic E. Lennox. So like somebody was going to taser somebody like that, you, that would be a T-A-Z-E. -E. Say it again. Taste. So that would be T-A-S-T-E. That's one of those tricky ones. We do have a lot of, now I'm stuck to my paper. Um, Sunny. R-A-Y, Ray. Say it one more time. Oh, just Ray, like a ray of sunshine. All right, nice job. Are there more? There's a ton of A-Y words, aren't there? Tons of them. All right, I'd like, go ahead. So we have pray right here. Debbie? Oh, so we, let's stick to the letters we've got. Let's stick to the letters we've got. Slave. Say, say it. Slave. Slave. So we have no V. Slave would be a V, and it would be a magic E. S-L-A-V-E. All right, Mr. Finn. Yes, so we just add an S to the end. Nice job. All right, my friends, I we got to go. We've got to move on to the next thing, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do some dictation. So I'm going to pass out the dictation page. And my friends, Mr. Charlie and Ms. Astria, you get a preview of what that's going to look like right here. All right. So if you want in your EL spiral, there was two arms to the bed. The rest of them are going to since you guys guessed some of them already. Good job. Here we go. The first one is stray. There was a stray cat. Stray. Stray. All right. Stray. Uh-oh. I'm 
move for your friend. I'm sorry. No, it's just a kid. Here, you can take him. Oh, did I give you? See? <laughs> You got the teacher page. Woohoo! You got all the answers. All right. How did we spell stray? What do you think, Miss Evie? Um, Very good. One line for the AY, right? Because it's our vowel team. Yes, Miss Cerny. AY is a vowel team. Y is a vowel. In this case, yep. Yes, in all of the vowel teams cases, it's, it is a vowel. It's a vowel team. So in all of these words, a y is going to y is going to be a what? A vowel every single time. For it's a vowel team. All right, number two, tray. So Ben, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier that you're continuing to do. Yep. Don't be sorry. Just go do it. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Tray, the tray of plates fell in the kitchen. Oh no. Oh, tray, no. how do I do it? Spell it, Mr. Gaden. T R A Y. T R A Y, tray. Number three. Now, two syllables. Dismay. Dismay. One word. Thank you. Dismay. I was full of dismay when the student was rude. Dismay. D -s -m -a. Think about all those the lines. There's enough lines there if you use your vowel team. Dismay. I was full, filled with dismay when the student was rude. How do you think I'm going to spell? I, dismay is like um, sadness. What do you think, Miss Sunny? D I S M A Y. Okay. D dismay. D I S the S, S M A. Yep, A Y together. Dismay. Number four. Freeway. Two word, one word, two syllables. Free way. I got on the freeway to get to Denver. Freeway. Uh, I got more words in there, freeway. Yes, it is a compound word, isn't it? So, Evie, how do I spell it? Um, All right. Um, Mr. Max? Um, F -R so, that's my blend, right? And then you do one for E. No, you knew it. E E. W A Y. W and then our A Y freeway. So there was two vowel teams. Two vowel teams in that one. Very good. Two vowel teams. Next one, mayhem. There was mayhem when everyone started to talk at once. Mayhem. How's it going, Mr. August? Do you there? Mayhem. Nope. Ha, eh, eh. Mayhem. Eh. Mm, what's the sound? May -he -eh -eh -um. Charlie Carr, what do you think? M, and then what's after M? Vowel, no, vowel team. A Y May H E M. Very good. M A Y H E M. Mayhem. The the villain was trying to cause mayhem for the superhero. Mayhem. Mayhem means um, chaos. Number six, subway. Please ride the subway home. Subway. Again, one word, but two syllables. Subway. Subway. 
Uh, yeah, there's more than one meaning to the word, but if you listen to the sentence, you'll know which one I was talking about. All right, which friend at home wants to spell that one for me? Astria, okay. S-U-B. S-U-B. W. W. A-Y. A-Y. Subway. We're not having a conversation about food distributors at this time. Because right now I'm having dictation and if you're talking, people can't hear well. Yeah. That's why. Number one, the sentence. Listen to it first before you start writing. The hay will sway in the wind. 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 Make sure that you're writing both on the left and on the right for here. And then we'll, on this one, we need to make sure that we rewrite the sentence when we finish to make sure it's correct. Please notice that you have your cups already. So make sure that you have that capital reword, reread to make sure. I still had somebody who forgot a word on their spelling test last week. Again, if you are doing the U, and you're looking at all your words and making sure when I say it that you have each word, you shouldn't skip one, right? P for punctuation and S, make sure your it looks right with our spelling rules, right? The hay will sway in the wind. All right, here we go with a capital T, H E, there's my the. The hay, H A Y will who thinks they know how to spell sway bird very good s-w-a-y will sway in the and then how do i spell win that's charlie car w-i-n-d and then what goes at the end of our sentence period then rewrite it nicely Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't write the second line until after we've checked all of the other words. Because if you made a mistake, then that's your opportunity to switch to, to change it. The hay will sway in the wind. Number two. Hay the man. For the clay. Pay the man for the clay. Pay the man with the, oh no, for I, no, um, let me try that again. Pay the man for the clay. It's supposed to be for the clay, not with the clay. Sorry. Pay the man for the clay. Pay the man, sorry, that was my mistake, for the clay. Pay the man for the clay. Pay the man for the clay. Pay the man. Now go through your cups. Make sure. So some of you are not doing this part. And it's really important that you are using your ideas for cups. So 
So I see some people who are writing on their paper in other places. And really, we need to focus on the, on the cups idea. Pay the man for the clay. Look at your C. Look at your U. Your P. And think about what, what's the rule for the week when you're doing your S. Now, not all the words are always like last week. We had the word each on our spelling test, but our rule was mostly E E words. But the word each needs E E or E A, doesn't it? So sometimes there are words thrown in there to see if you know how to use them. Last time, pay the man for the clay. All right, Mr. Charlie Van Rickley, spell pay for me. Uh oh, he might be frozen. All right, maybe I'll catch him in a minute. Uh, Mr. Max Stiesberg, pay, tell me how to spell pay. And what do I need to know about the P? Capital A. So most of the time, I don't want your P to be like that, right? Most of the time, I want the P to go below the line, but now it's a capital, so I want it to be a capital P. Pay the man. So there's the man. You probably got no problem. For, how do I spell for? Sunny. F-O-R. It's a red word, technically. For the clay. How am I going to spell clay, Mr. August? C-L-A-Y. Hey, the man. You aren't supposed to have written that second sentence yet. Uh -huh. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'll take them in a minute. I'm going to first explain I've got, got some new stuff today for some different people. So I want you to listen. All right. So the act, so I, what I want you to do, this is if you have the beach, if you have the beach, if you, this is the last time, my friends, if you are one of the readers of the beach, you have a bunch of A-Y words to find for law, for a vowel team, A-Y. So I need you to pull out your beach paper if you are one of those. Um, it's Miss Astria, I attached it to the assignment today. So go ahead and pull up the beach and see if you can find out all of your A-Y long vowel sounds and words, okay? My other friends, um, so I need to see Sawyer and I need to see Eddie and no, and Bird. Um, actually, no, because you're getting a new one. Okay, good, because I can't find my book. You can come, yep, come get one. Any Any, well, a different color than you had before. Different color than you had before. Orange or green, that's the one. Take anyone you have another. Four. Two bags. Oh, careful. Oh, oh. All right. Where is my word? Are you wearing two things? Mr. Sawyer. Can you please? Mr. Sawyer, please come with me. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Can you give me one? Thank you. Two. 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 All right, H. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I want you to preview the book. Look at that page. Mr. Charlie. You are going to um, attach to this assignment. It's a new book for you. For you. Okay. It looks like this. Does that look familiar, Mr. Charlie? It was on us today's assignment. Yeah, it looks familiar. Okay, so I'm um, so that uh, go ahead and go to the assignment and pull up this one and read okay. it to yourself for a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you some questions. In a minute. Okay. Um, 
Fastening web, fastening waist, even though it's like it ended, it has a fastening, that's the work. Yep, waist. Any eight, so you remember how like we had, remember how easy um, this be, like we have the pattern of you always have to go in the same place. No, we had F day, one more here. Yeah. No. Anywhere you find that AY, making it A sound, okay? Yep, and you do you need another color? Yeah. You have one. You have another one? <laughs> All right. Okay. Smell it. Oh, I'll just go. Did you read through it? Let, just read through it. Preview it for me. Hi, Yeah, well, it should be in your green folder, though. It should be in your green folder. Oh, okay. Well, if that's possible, so look in your green folder for me. Did you, what, what, what? But Charlie, have a chance to read it first before we talk about it. Well, we're gonna. What are we? We're actually going to look for what? No, 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 no. Hold on. I have a really good one. Did you have a really good one? Yeah. Really good what? Maybe. 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 All right. So today we have lots. This book has lots of valentines. Yeah. Lots of valentines, doesn't it, Charlie? Got E E. Got E A. Got A Y word. Okay, so today we're going to focus on the A Y which is the color. There. You're with me, buddy. Go on. Oh. So you got all the E Ys? Okay, reread it through its fluency. See if you can read through it. So, Mr. Okay. Then you can work on Amplify while you're waiting. Okay. So I'm running out of I'm running out of them, buddy. Not mine. But I may not have all of the other colors done already. All right. Can I put all the Yes. All the A Y words? Yeah. You can circle all the A Y words. So what color do you need? Pink or orange work for you? Yeah. 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 Can be half the shape of the words. Yes, you need to fear for the AY words. That's good. I like your new glasses. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I think it's a lot. And it read through it fluently. So just read through the, from the beginning to the end fluently. All right. How are we doing, Charlie? Are you ready to move on, bud? Okay. All right. So let's eat. Let's read it together. Okay. Can we, can we start back to the beginning? Good. Okay. We're going to, Mr. Charlie, you're going to help me find all the, some of the AY words. Okay. All right. All right. So we're starting on page two. All Six. right. James is happy to tell Sam some news. We can catch fish in the creek now, says James. Really, says James. All right. Mr. Charlie, do you see a word with an A-Y on page two? Yeah, I, I can it. Well, I need Would it help if I make it a little bigger, buddy? Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger for you. All right. Does that help a little? Wait, what? All right. We're looking for A Y words on page two. A Y. A Y. We're looking for A Y. All right. Says. Says. Very good. Two of them, right? There's two of them in there. All right. Yes. Before we could only feed the fish in our park. Now we can use a fishing pole to catch fish, but we have to put them back in the creek. 
Any Y words on that page? No. No, we have a lot of vowel teams that we're going to look at later, but not on that page. James and Sam walk to the park. There's a big pond and some creeks and streams. I have never been to that stream, says James. James and Sam go to the stream. Back to, we're now on four. We have another says. says. Very good. So we will go back and get all those other valentines, but we're just focusing on AY today. Hey, my friends who are uh, done, if you've read it fluently to yourself once, tonight, as the week goes on, I'm going to have each of you come up and read to me and give you a fluency grade based on the beach. So practice through it so you're ready to read it to me, and then you can work on amplifying. Okay. All right. What do you, what do fish eat? Asked Sam. I think they will eat cheese. I will put it on our line, says James. Do you think they will eat cheese? What do you think fish eat? Any A Y words on that page? Says. Says again. All right. Sam and James stand under a tree next to the stream. The green leaves give them shade from the heat. No A Y words on that one. Sam has never been fishing before. James teaches him. James casts a fishing line. He does not catch a fish. Sam does not catch a fish. Any A Y ones on that one? No A Y ones on that one. Maybe they are asleep, asked Sam, or maybe they are down really deep. So they cannot see our cheese. Do we on page eight? Miss Bird says she sees one. Yeah, um, there's no says on eight. No, but the, the word you like, maybe. maybe, maybe, and it's on maybe's twice. Did you get that one, yep. Sawyer? Did you get maybe on eight? It is not easy to catch fish, says Sam. Yes, but it is still really says. hard to try. Says it. Sam, we says. will try again this weekend, says James, maybe. as they leave for home. Which way, what, say it again, Charlie? Says. Says again. Very good. Lots of says. And there was a maybe in there. All right. Good job, my friends. All right. So, the, um, so in, in the other days, I'm going to have you look for EEs and EAs. And we're also going to look for magic E's in this one. This one has a lot of magic E's in it as well. All right. Miss um, Miss Astria, did you get a chance to practice the, the beach? Miss Astria, did you get a chance to practice? Okay, so we are going to be doing some. Um, we're going to be doing some fluency readings with me um, of the beach on one of these days, and so um, keep practicing that one because I'm going to give a fluency grade for it. Okay, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. Nice job, and I will see you. Uh, say again, Astria, because I can't hear you. It's nothing. Okay, you're okay. I didn't want to miss you. Whatever you were saying. Okay, so keep practicing that one, and we'll um be uh doing it a little later this week. Okay. All right, my friend. I'll see you at math. You did a good job.